Hello guys, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about another Framer Studio tutorials. Uh, probably I'm trying to create a more comprehensive guide for beginners to getting started on this software. So now we are going to explain about a new feature called the autocode. So basically autocode means you can basically create an object and set it up without having to write more lines of codes where you can basically choose some of these menus and create states, events and snippets. So let's just begin. As usual, let's try to create a new artboard here. I'm going to with iPhone SE in this case. And then when we get a code here, we can see there's this artboard here. So let's begin by creating an object as we've already did that on the previous video we create a rectangle shape put it there and we can go to code basically before that we were going to put a select target here and call it box so in the end you will see in the left side called box there you go so when we want to create a autocode as you can see on the left side here there are several menus like animate state event and snippet so let's dive by every each of them so if we take a look at animate basically we are able to select the menu of the layer from the object that we've created so and also you can go with get started with animation to check it out what is it about so let's get into this create box there you go so as you can see here we see a kind of you know settings or stuff here on the left side of our code snippets and as you can see we can go with the position size background opacity and others as you can you know play around with them so what interesting is that on the code snippet here we have automatically created a code here so let's delete it and do it again let's go to animate do the layer do the box so now as you can see we can animate the box so what does it mean then um, basically this snippets of animate will allows you to create an animation of an object just like what we did in the previous video if you haven't checked it out please do so without we having to write lots of bunch of codes we can basically just click and select the items that we want to do but of course the disadvantage of this you know options is that we weren't able to learn how to code itself and understand the entire basic algorithm of the code itself because the point of coding is that we need to understand how they works, right? Not just we want to click something and, you know, the result just pops up out of nowhere without we having know how to do that. But by the way, as you can see here in the middle, we didn't see any settings anymore because we haven't select this box. So when we select this box here, we click on this box on the left side of the code snippets here. There we go then the setting will pops up again and if we click nothing let's say I click nothing yeah it will disappear so let's play along with it uh, because this uh, tutorial is about auto code so let's see opacity there you go suddenly a code appears over here opacity or even if you want to play with probably border radius here there you go something appears and oops let's click it again and if we want to go with the shadow probably blur now you can also check it out what happens to the simulation yeah all right there you go pretty nice and we want to scale it up or scale it down we want to rotate and etc so this basically the code is automatically created without we having to write manually that's the point of auto code now the second one is we have state so basically state in this case means that the state of an object to do its animation or interaction now 
as a simple analogy, let's say you are about to go to supermarket and then you want to go to supermarket. So the first state is that you want to drive your vehicle, probably motorcycle in this case. And then the second state is that you want to park the motorcycle. And the third state is that you want to lock your motorcycle. And then the fourth state is that you want to go to the supermarket by walking to the supermarket. And there you go. That's basically the symbol analogy. So, okay, so when we click the state, we can see the label here of our object, which is the box. And when we create this, there we go. We've got box.states.a. It means that a, in this case, is the name of the states, which basically you can modify the name anything you want, okay? So don't get stuck about a in this case because a is basically customizable and box is basically the name of the object that you've created before so if we talk in human language it means that all right so box in states a will do what that what it means all right but we should write it manually now box dot states dot a equals two so what happens in this case right so I will say the common what happens to the box right there you go so there we go what happened to the box don't worry about this we'll explain about states later now in this third menu we got event so basically event means what will happen to the object if we do something to the object just like if I click the object then blah 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 then what happens you know so that's why when we click event here we can select the click double click click touch mouse drag pinch scale rotate animation states tap and others which basically you can play around what happens but of course because you just getting started to this you're probably going to be a pretty much challenge to you know try all of these because you don't even know what this is useful so let's dive in Let's, for example, for the essential of the tutorial, we go with a click. There you go. Okay. All right. So as we can see here, we have the syntax box on click event layer. So basically for the essential of this tutorial, we will just going to use box on click. Don't worry about that. We will explain it later ahead. So let's just do it step by step. So now we got box on click means when this box is click then what happens? Let's try do something. Let's give a space there and box animate in this case. So let's say um, x equal size equals to let's say 100 and when we click it it's changing the size. See? So there you go. That is the example of using event. So next, so let's try border radius. Let's say 280. So when we click it, okay, as you can see, it changed to a circle just because we changed to the radius of 80. If we go to, let's say 100, it will be a solid circle. There you go. So we already play with this. So we let's go to 50. There you go. Now let's say options. Oops. Um, let's say I shouldn't put time here. Um, I've got mistaken here. Let's say time 1.1. All right, that's work. So let's go with the let's say um. background color go to let's say what well, black okay there you go so now I have something to show you box draggable equals true so you can drag it up there you go see 
you can track everything here but basically this is just happens when we already click the box so we'll just put it outside the on click method and we can drag everything and when you click it there it happens so again let's see I track every everything and when I click it it change very nice so let's uh, fix the syntax structure here all right it's good now good let's delete this all right so this is one of the example so when we click on click event on the event of on click then this will happen right if we don't click anything let's see I didn't click anything so nothing's happened because I didn't click the box but if I click the box it happens so that's the way it works and you basically can add other objects in this case let's say I'm gonna add an oval here and let's change the color to that and also let's type the same thing where we can drag the oval let's do the oval there you go oval dot draggable true oval dot on click I really recommend to write manually because it's pretty much fun in this case I'm sorry it's oval dot animate let's say size 2 2 or 50 let's say with radius no, I don't need that Let's say background color to white. Oops, maybe red. Options. Say time 1.5. I'm 0 0.5. Let's see. There. Very cool, right? If you reset it, do that. Click it. There, very nice, very cool. Okay, so that's all about this one. Now we're going to go with the snippets here. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty simple, right? That's okay. If you need to pause this video and try it yourself, it's cool. You know, you can do that. So it's okay. Take your time and let's continue the snippets so snippet is basically more like you know the snippets of the code like when we add or when we need to add more settings on the code let's see when we there's the sound there's a sound there <laughs> let's add one let's see uh, there you go when you click this oops let's say I'll put this so there we got a sound let's do it again <laughs> now we want to add the sound to the uh, animate here uh, to the box at the same time so Let's try to add snippets and we can the to the sound on uh, notifications here and I'm gonna copy this to this thing and oops there you go. Let's play it. There. Nice. very cool okay so basically you can also explore the other things <clears throat> on the snippets it's very great um, you know you can practice yourself to write them manually or using the auto code but again I really recommend you to manually write the code so in the end you understand why it's happening okay so that's all about today's tutorial and we've already talked much about the auto code. Now it's your time to practice and create this kind of 
unique things with your own you can basically add more objects or even you know your own image just like drag and drops and stuff and you can also do anything you want basically using these shapes so time by time you will understand why these things happens and how does it happen so let's play one more very nice so thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial could help you to build your prototype or even simple and fun app for you your friends and your family thank you so much and if you like this video please subscribe and hit like on the video to support this channel if you dislike thank you very much as well for watching okay so that's all about today thank you and have a great day and see you in the next video bye, -bye.